Sendakau supports farmers in sub-Saharan Africa to grow themselves out of poverty by giving communities the hope and the means to secure their own futures from the land. Our approach empowers families with the confidence, skills and self-belief to grow sufficient food and generate income while regenerating the natural environment, protecting ecosystems and enhancing biodiversity. As Farm Systems Coordinator, I work with our in-country teams to find and design innovative and cost-effective solutions to the challenges smallholder farmers face, such as falling crop yields, soil degradation and pests. Smallholder farmers are often wholly dependent on agriculture for their livelihoods, growing a variety of staple crops, including maize. Maize is one of the major crops grown in the world, and in Africa alone the lives of 300 million people depend on it. However, erratic weather patterns combined with parasitic weeds such as striger weed and destructive insects like stem borer moth can completely decimate maize crops, resulting in widespread hunger and poverty. The common response to these pests would be chemical pesticides, but these are often devastating for ecosystems and water supplies. Smallholder farmers are often in a very difficult position. Their families are severely malnourished, but they don't have the means to protect their crops from pests. Sendikau has teamed up with the CPE to implement Push-Pull, an affordable, nature-based solution to falling maize yield. The following explanation shows how it works. To properly understand the need for Push-Pull, we must first look at two pests, the stem borer moth and striger weed. First, the stem borer moth. They lay their larvae on maize stems and leaves, and when they hatch, the larvae literally bore through the stems and leaves, hence their name. Secondly, striger weed is a parasitic weed. Its roots latch onto the maize and drain it of nutrients. Together, striger and the stem borer can wipe out an entire crop. Push-pull technology is an integrated pest management system which can mitigate both pests. Farmers start by intercropping maize with desmodium, and because the maize is planted at normal spacing, there's no sacrifice of planting area by adding it. Desmodium is a legume plant that produces airborne chemicals that repel the stem borer moths, or push them away from the maize. Desmodium also induces suicidal germination of the striger weed, clearing the soil of the parasitic weed. Being a legume, desmodium also fixes nitrogen in the soil, increasing nutrients and reducing soil degradation. On the border of their maize plot, farmers plant brachiaria or napier grass, a great animal feed. These grasses attract or pull the moths away from the maize. The moths lay their larvae on the grass, but they are unable to survive on the leaves, thus reducing the number of stem borer moths. By implementing push-pull technology, farmers see increased maize yields for human consumption, as well as increased yields of livestock feed, which they can use on their own farm or sell to neighbours or at the local market. John lives in Petark, Zambia, with his wife and children. He began practising push-pull in 2018 and his maize harvests have greatly improved. He says, push-pull has helped me and my family to have a steady source of income with good yields from our maize, now it's free from the stem borer. The soil has improved and I've started feeding my goats with desmodium. I want to thank Sendakal for bringing this kind of technology to us. I had never heard of it before. John plans to use his increased income to send his small children to school and reinvest in his farm. <laughs>